I'm Lynn Prouse Bishop and this is the Virtual Business Show. One of the hardest things to learn in business, especially for new business owners, is you can't be all things to all people. You've heard it before, jack of all trades, master of none, and the importance of niching. But I think it even goes beyond that. I've been in business since February 2000 and something I've learned is in order to be successful, you need to focus on what you do well. You may have 50 things you do, okay, but two or three that you really excel at. It's much better to do those two or three things really, really well for five clients who then keep coming back and referring you than to do a mediocre job with the others and no one comes back. I was speaking with a young photographer who's trying to get their business off the ground and like most startups, they're relying on friends and family in the first instance to spread the word. In all my years in business, I've received, oh, how many? Zero. Zero paying referrals from friends and family. I have, however, received plenty of happy ongoing clients giving me referrals. You can tell your friends and family what you do, of course, but you can't rely on them to get business for you. Sometimes it works, but in my experience, it's the happy clients who get you the most referrals. It's so important for a startup in any business, especially a service-based business, to really think about your passion, what you love doing, what you're good at, your specialty. In the case of this photographer, they have a real eye for light and angle and do some amazing what I would call artistic shots. Dull, dry, drab, boring corporate photography is not their thing. They can do it, but it's not their thing. And that's okay. So in order to be successful, I'd advise staying away from that stuff and focusing in on their passion for the artistic. Bringing that to special intimate moments like family portraits, parties, formals and weddings or christenings, that sort of thing. To be successful in business, you need to first decide what you love to do and stick with it. Then who you like working with, your ideal client. And finally, not to take personally when someone overlooks you. It may well be a case of, I didn't even think of you because you don't do this kind of thing. If they say, I I thought you were too busy. You can set them straight, of course, but otherwise leave the dull, dry, boring stuff to others. What about you? Have you seen friends or family refer a competitor and you think, hey, what about me? I do that. Or do you just shrug it off and get on with your own marketing? Share what your experience is in the comments. Thanks so much for listening. (laughs) 